In this video, we'll show you some basic DDC control points used for the control of an air handler. Your situation may be different, but this will give you an idea of the optional points that can be used for various sequences of operation. We'll build the DDC controls one point at a time and explain its purposes as we build the control diagram. We'll start with a constant volume air handler that has a supply and return fan. We'll build this to be a variable volume air handler. The advantage of a VAV air handler is that it can optimize the diversity of the zones to save energy by reducing the fan speed. There are heating hot water and chilled water coils. We'll also build a controls points list as we add the various DDC components for controlling the air handler. Control dampers. Three dampers are added, which include the exhaust air, return air, and outside air dampers. These dampers will have actuators that will allow the DDC system to adjust the damper positions to meet the system requirements. They will be actuated by 24 volts of power. Temperature sensors. There will be analog inputs from various temperature sensors. Return air temperature sensor. The return air temperature sensor monitors the temperature of the air returning from the conditioned space. Mixed air temperature sensor. The mixed air temperature sensor monitors the temperature of the air after it has been through the return air and outside air streams. This information is used to control the mixing of these two air streams to achieve the desired supply air temperature. Supply air temperature sensor. The primary function of the supply air temperature sensor is to continuously monitor the temperature of the air being discharged from the air handler. This sensor provides real-time feedback on the actual temperature of the conditioned air. Outside air temperature sensor. The outside air temperature sensor is crucial for the control of economizer systems in air handlers. Economizers utilize outdoor air for cooling when the outdoor conditions are favorable. The sensor helps determine whether the outdoor air is suitable for free cooling, allowing the system to reduce reliance on mechanical cooling and improve energy efficiency. Space temperature sensor. The primary function of the space temperature sensor is to continuously monitor the temperature within the occupied zone. This sensor provides real-time feedback on the actual temperature where building occupants are present. Filter differential pressure sensor. The filter's differential pressure sensor monitors the pressure drop across air filters. As filters accumulate dust and particulate matter, the pressure drop across them increases. An increase in pressure drop indicates that the air filters are becoming clogged with contaminant. The sensor provides real-time feedback on the differential pressure serving as an indirect measure of filter cleanliness. Control valves. The primary function of the chilled water and heating hot water control valves are to regulate the flow of water through the system to achieve the desired cooling or heating effect. It controls the amount of water entering the coils. Smoke detector. The primary function of a smoke detector in an air handler is to detect the presence of smoke in the air circulating through the HVAC system. Once activated, it can initiate an automatic shutdown of the air handler to prevent the spread of smoke throughout the building. It can also trigger audible and visual alarms alerting building occupants and personnel to the potential fire hazard. Airflow measuring station. The airflow measuring station ensures that the proper amount of outside air enters the air handler by adjusting the outside air damper. High static pressure switch. High duct static pressure poses challenges in the event of a building fire when fire dampers are activated. During a fire, the closure of fire dampers results in downstream duct sensors detecting a pressure drop. Subsequently, these duct pressure sensors transmit signals to increase the air handler speed even further to restore normal operation. However, due to the closed fire dampers, the ramping up of the air handler causes an increase in duct pressure upstream of the fire dampers. This increase reaches a threshold where high static pressure switches intervenes. 
cutting power to the variable frequency drive VFD and transmitting a signal to the direct digital control DDC. Notably, switches in this specific application adhere to specifications requiring manual reset and dual outputs, one for disengaging power to the VFD and another for signaling the DDC. Variable Frequency Drives VFDs. One of the primary functions of a VFD on the supply and return fans are to enhance energy efficiency. The VFD allows the speed of the fan motor to be adjusted based on the actual demand for airflow. This prevents the fan from running at full speed constantly, which can result in energy savings, especially during periods of partial load. VFDs enable soft starts and stops for the supply fan motor. This reduces mechanical stress on the motor and the associated components, extending the lifespan of the equipment. The gradual acceleration and deceleration also contribute to smoother operation. Current transducer. The current transducer is used to confirm that the fan is running. The current transducer detects current flowing through the electrical power cables serving the fan. There will be one for the supply fan and another for the return fan. Return Air Relative Humidity Sensor The Return Air Relative Humidity Sensor is to continuously monitor the relative humidity level of the air that is being drawn back into the HV system from the occupied spaces. The feedback from the sensor is essential for the control system to adjust the operation of humidification or dehumidification elements such as steam humidifiers or cooling coils to achieve the set point relative humidity. This control is crucial for maintaining a comfortable and healthy indoor environment. Outside air relative humidity sensor. The outside air relative humidity sensor is continuously monitoring the relative humidity level of the outdoor air before it enters the HVAC system. The data is used as an analog input for the control or logarithms that regulate the operation of humidification or dehumidification components to achieve and maintain the desired indoor relative humidity level. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.